Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Please hit the like button and please subscribe. It does help my channel a lot. But I appreciate you just coming in and visiting also. And um, I want to thank my subscribers again. I just think they're awesome. And uh, this one here is about the California Congresswoman Maxine Waters is in charge of regulating the financial system. One mistake from her past is coming back to haunt her. I'm going to move this over a little bit so I can see it. Now this shocking picture of Maxine, Maxine Waters just created a massive scandal. The collapse of the cryptocurrency exchange FTX is shaping up to be the biggest financial fraud since Enron. E-N-R-O-N. -E Enron. FTX founder and CEO Sam Bankman fried secretly transferred $10 billion in customers deposits to prop his hedge fund. Alameda Research. Alameda Research. Between one and two billion worth of FTX customers' money went missing during the transfer of the Alameda Research. FTX's house of cards collapsed after the company declared bankruptcy, leaving customers holding the bag for Brakeman Fried's fraud. And that's Fried's. F-R-I-E-D apostrophe S. Bankman Fried's fraud. The stunning collapse of FTX became the biggest failure in cryptocurrency history, put Democrats in an uncomfortable situation. I can imagine, can't you? Outside of left-wing billionaire George Soros, S-O-R-O-S, -S, Soros, Sam Bankman Fried, was the largest donor to Democrat campaigns and causes during the 2022 election cycle. In anticipation of another presidential run by former President Donald Trump, Bankman Fried claimed he could spend up to $1 billion boosting Democrats in 2024. Now, can they, is that legal? Isn't that bribery? You know, well, here's a billion. You know, if you want it, take a bite, and I'll back you. Mm. Now, Bankman Fried is broke after having his reported it reported net worth of 16 billion wiped out overnight, and is drawing comparisons to disgrace. Ponzi scheme mastermind Bernie Madoff. What does they say? You go against karma, or karma, karma will come back and get you. Something like that. With FTX's massive fraud in the news, Congress is once again looking to increase regulations on cryptocurrency. Representative Maxine Waters. Democrat of California is the chair of the House Financial Services Committee, which is tasked tasked with helping regulate the financial system. The Congresswoman announced that the Financial Services Committee was launching an investigation into FTX to explore exactly what has taken place. And it shows a picture of her. I'll, I'll post it. She's just, oh, she's beside herself. Re Representative Waters is alleged to be one of the most corrupt members of Congress. And even left-wing groups have called her out. The George Soros-funded left-wing watchdog citizens for responsibility and ethics in Washington has named Waters the most corrupt member of Congress three times. Now, you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Why is she still there? Can't you get rid of these people if you've got proof? You know how big I am. I want facts and proof. And if they've got the facts and the proof, why is that lady still there? 
During the Great Recession, she was charged with three counts of congregational, congregational ethics violations, securing a 12 million bailout for a small bank her husband owned stock in. Sounds like a kind of, well, right here it is, but I was going to say, sounds kind of like a little Nancy Pelosi to me, and right here it pops up. Now, in the final days, a Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, Democrat of California, and Democrats reign over the U.S. House. Representative Waters is leading the investigation of the FTX scandal. Nobody's investigating Pelosi. And she did something with the stock market she wasn't supposed to be doing. Members of Congress or something uh, aren't supposed to do what she did. Nothing's happened to her. Waters awkwardly, awkwardly dodged a question about Frank Friedman's massive donations to Democrats when asked if members of her party should return them. Well, I don't want to get into that, Waters told the Fox Business reported. As a matter of fact, both sides, Democrats and Republicans, have received donations, so thank you. That was her response. She doesn't want to get into that? Because a deep dive into Bankman Fried's donations could be a major problem for Democrats? Now Congresswoman Waters' ties to Bankman Fried are giving Democrats heartburn ahead of the potential hearings. Boy, I hope I get on that one. <laughs> Last year, Maxine Waters was seen blowing a kiss and waving to Sam Bankman Fried a congressional hearing he was testifying as was wrapping up. Really? Hmm. A picture also emerged of Bankman Fried and Rep Representative Waters smiling with her arms around each other after another congressional hearing. Hmm. Real investigation of the FTX will have to wait until Republicans take control of the House in January and Maxine Waters is sidelined. Stay tuned to the Conservative Underground News for any updates to this ongoing story. I'll keep that in mind. I'll have to write it down because it's probably all for dead, to be honest. <laughs> I get too carried away with other stuff. <laughs> oh, dear, 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 dear. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, look up something else. And I think it is time for my D-O-G-G-I-E-S's to go out and do their duty. Uh, they had supper and they always lay down after supper. I tell them after I feed them. Uh, between five and six o'clock, you know, I say now your bellies are full You better go lay down and rest a while and they do and they don't get up until about well, it's uh, 10 32 p.m. My time now, so it will be soon. So I'll be back later Bless you